Hi everybody, I'm Joey Paul and I'm an indie author and today we're going to be talking about that old adage of write what you know. It's been something you've heard over and over, I know I have. I thought I would go through why writing what you know is a good thing and why it's not all it's cracked up to be. So here we go. Number one, why is it a good thing? It's good for a writer to be able to put themselves in their character's shoes. It's good to have the life experience to back up what you're writing about. It's also good to be able to write a wide array of circumstances and within that to be able to know that you're getting it right. It allows you to work through your own experiences and put them into words. One common complaint about people writing scenes they don't have first-hand experience in is when they stick to cliches or stereotypes and it makes the writing or scene bad and a bit cringeworthy. It's also a way for you to give advice to other writers who are writing to gain some first-hand knowledge. So moving on, why is it a bad thing? There are some situations where no one knows how it feels. I'm talking about vampires and the supernatural alongside fantasy and dystopian and other genres like that. There's this thing called research and while it can't always be enough over first hand experience, that's what beta readers are for and critique partners who do have that experience and can help you with it. It stifles some creativity and imagination because people get stuck on what they don't know rather than what they do know. It doesn't allow for people making stuff up because these things just aren't possible. Like with the Dying Thought series, I've never had a psychic gift, or been stalked, or watched someone die, yet I can write about it with both my imagination and some research. It feels very much like a gatekeeper phrase, oh you can't write about that because you've never had it. I don't mean things like oppression, where for me as a white person I don't know and will never know what it's like to be treated poorly because of my skin colour, but for things like romance, and first kisses, and crime scenes, and murder, and all that weird and wonderful stuff that people can think of. Write what you know has limits, and it limits people, and it's not always a good thing to do that. That said, how can you make it work for you? As I said before, if there's something you want to write about, there's probably research already been done about that very thing. You can enlist critique partners at beaters who may have had experience with whatever you don't. You can also talk to people through the internet who can help you see what it's like to have that first-hand knowledge. And you can also rely on your imagination. In Walk a Mile, there's a ton of stuff that has never happened and probably never will because it's sci-fi and fiction and I made a lot of it up because that's the point of fiction. My point is that writing what you know has its place and it also can be ignored. Yes, as a disabled bi woman, I have experiences and own voices that other people don't. But I don't have to be a man to write about male characters. And I don't have to work a crime scene to be able to write about one effectively. Some of this can be covered in research, yes, and some of it can also be covered with, like I said, reaching out to beta readers and critique partners and other writers who may have that experience. Just so long as you make sure you do the research when needed, it's not a hard and fast rule to follow. So just be careful with what you do in regards to real world stuff and let your imagination go with everything else. One thing I want to be clear on is that write what you know is a great and powerful tool when used effectively, but you also don't want to get caught up in, well I've never experienced drinking someone's blood so therefore I can't write about it, because some of these things nobody's experienced. Well, some people probably have, but we won't talk about that just yet. And writing what you know is great and fantastic, but everybody has to use their imagination when writing. That's part of writing fiction, is that you're using your imagination and stifling yourself and saying, well, I can't write about X, Y, Z because I've never experienced X, Y, Z can lead to choppy scenes or cliches or tropes, even though you're trying to avoid that very thing. So that's my advice on write what you know. Those my three points of basically why it's a good thing, a bad thing, and how you can make it work for you. So that's what I've got time for today. If you want to get in touch with me, you can comment or subscribe. I post new videos on Thursdays, usually about writing in life, author life, being an author, being a writer, and all that jazz. You can also find me on Facebook, on Goodreads, on Tumblr, on Twitter. My books are available everywhere. And don't forget to check out Dark 2018, where I'll be signing books this October. All the links to which are listed below. Thanks for watching. Bye.